Killian Carroll here, saying hello from Boston. Um, first of all, I just want to say it's great to be part of GA Handball's Youth Expo. And today I'll be going through some drills that I've used over the years to improve my footwork, agility, um, and also coordination. To do this, we will be using ladders, cones, jump rope, and also we'll be using um, some balls, tennis balls, reaction balls, and different types of handballs. Uh, so that's it, and let's get right to it. So the first drill, we're going to use ladders. Uh, we can use ladders to improve our agility, uh, footwork, coordination, and balance. And we can also throw in modifications to make it harder, you know, when you get used to using ladders and get better over time. So the very first drill that I'm going to go through is high knees, uh, single step going forward. So what you want to do is you want to put one leg in each rung and knee to about um, hip height. All right, and then you're going to switch, alternate, and then follow through until the end. And you want to take a break um, and then give yourself five or ten seconds of rest and then do it again at a fast pace. All right, so the second ladder drill is called the icky shuffle. Now you want to stand on the left side and you want to start leading with your right foot. And going into each rung, you put two feet going in laterally as you move forward diagonally, then left foot and then right foot and so on, picking up pace. You know, and if you can't do it fast, just make sure you're doing the steps right and you'll get faster over time as your coordination improves. So the third ladder drill is lateral in outs. So you wanna face the side of the ladder, you know, two feet. So two feet are going into each run and out of each run and you're going diagonally as you move up the ladder, all right? As I said, you've got to start slow so you improve the coordination and then you can build up speed, you know, so you don't trip up. All right, so the fourth drill is similar in that we're going to be going laterally, but we're just going to be doing high knees laterally. So two feet into each rung, knee going up to about hip height and moving um, along the ladder. All right, so we'll be going up and teach ladder And then finish ready All right, so drill number five is the two-legged forward shuffle So we're gonna go along the ladder and we're gonna have two feet go outside and then back in as you move up along the ladder all right, now, as I said, when you're doing it, you want to move as fast as possible, and so on. All right, so number six is the single leg shuffle, similar to the double legged, but we're only using one leg going in and out while the other leg stays straight. All right, so we're on the right side of the ladder, so we'll be using our left leg to shuffle. So on. So the left leg does the in and out, while the right leg just shuffle, pushes on straight forward. Ready? So drill number seven is a double side step, um, followed by a burpee, and getting back up and coming back. All right, so depending on your reach, you can either go two rungs or you can go three rungs. Personally, I like to go three rungs. And then at the very end, get on the floor, come back up, and then go along the other end. And do the same thing. All right, so the next drill is a modification. When you get very good at ladders, you can start incorporating a ball. You know, but you have to kind of do ladders without looking at it before you can get to this stage because, you know, you'd be looking at trying to catch the ball and move along the ladder at the same time. So this is the in and out um, moving forward laterally. Uh, so we're going to go in and out with the feet. And at the same time, we're going to throw the ball up against the wall and try and catch it as we're moving along the ladder. All right, so in and out and catching the ball.
and move as fast as you can, you know, so start slowly at the start and try and build up faster. All right, for the next drill, we're going to have cones. Cones are great for, you know, speed, changing direction, moving in different directions, um, and agility. So for this drill, I have all cones marked out like you do in a handball court, two in the front, two in the middle, and two in the back. And we'll just go through quickly. So you want to hit each cone, first starting off hitting the white cone, and then you get to move forward and touch the yellow cone. All right, preferably with your left hand. And you got to move backwards in the direction of the white, forward in the direction of the yellow, touching it with the right, and then backwards. And then for the blue, we go left first, go to the blue, touch it with the left hand, move over. Right, white, back to the red, moving backwards, touch the right hand, back to the left, touch the left hand, and then touch. Now you wanna time yourself, so you start with your hand on, you start, <laughs> start the clock, then you get to move on to touch with the left, and you have to touch each cone, and you don't stop the clock until your hand touches the white cone. Now for an added bonus, um, I would like to give out a challenge, you know, if everyone wants to try it. Um, I think we'll just have a general dim dimensions, eight feet, eight feet, um, eight feet, eight feet, and eight feet. And whoever has the fastest time, I will send them out a jersey. All right. All right, for the next, next cone drill, uh, we're just going to do the T. There's many different modifications and different ways you can do it. Um, so what I like to do is I like to run a straight line, red to red, um, then go back to this red, hit to the white, uh, go to blue, out of the other blue, back to white, and hit home. All right, but I also like to pivot and run straight when I hit each cone. What that just means is I change face, facing the direction of the cone I'm going to and run straight forward. All right, so we're going to run to the red cone. I'm going to turn and pivot, face that cone, turn and pivot, face this cone, pivot, 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 and pivot. All right, and also don't forget to change foot. So I was leading with my left foot, and next time then you can lead with your right foot. All right, so the last cone drill um, that doesn't improve reactions is a diving drill that I've actually made up myself. And obviously no game of handball goes uh, without diving for me. So obviously I had to create something. So this is a great drill for actually teaching myself how to dive because it's actually very different from left to right side um, as I'll go through now. So we'll start in the white cone and we'll go to the left cone and I'm gonna dive with my um, hitting the ball with my left hand. So you want to move out into that left corner and you want to put your right hand in front and extend your left hand down as you go on towards the side and get back up and then move back to the white cone as quick as possible and then out to the other direction opposite hand left hand down first onto your side and then back up and move back to the center of the cone or the center of the court as quick as possible and you want to go as fast as you can and as safe as you can obviously on a better surface than this too. All right, so this time with the cones, we're gonna add some reaction. 
uh, which kind of gets you a bit thinking, just reacting to a different stimulus. You can either do verbal or visual. Uh, for this, we're going to do verbal. So I'm going to have an assistant who's going to call out a color. Now I'm going to start at this white cone and whatever color my assistant calls, I have to run to that, touch it as quick as possible and run back to the homing cone. All right. So let's just, for argument's sake, say my assistant called out yellow. I would have to go over to the left side, touch the cone, and go back as quick as possible while the assistant calls out another color, and then I go there as fast as I can and keep going. You know, and if you want to make things harder, you can ask your assistant what, not to call out the cone until you're at least three or four feet off running straight. It kind of lessens your angles to the cone makes you react that much, that much quicker. Okay, so let's get White. Blue. Yellow. Red. All right, so this cone drill is very similar. Uh, it's reaction based, so my assistant's going to call out a color, and I go. These are just not forward, so I also have to move backwards and look behind me before I move to see which color is there. And so, yeah, as if I started the white cone and the assistant calls white, I'll have to move backwards, touch the white cone, and head back home as quick as I possibly can, trying to make the right decision. Blue. White. Red. Yellow. So for the next drill, we're going to do skipping. And skipping is good for staying on the balls of your feet, being agile, and just being able to pivot very quickly. All right, so we're going to run through a bunch of them. And the first one that I like to do is just the alternate foot or the boxer shuffle. So jumping up on the balls of your toes or the balls of your feet and alternating. And the next one is high knees alternating. And this one I like to do with speed. So you lift your knee up to hip height and then go as fast as you can. <laughs> so the third one, the third one is a shuffle. So one leg goes forward and one leg goes back. And then you have the star jump. The star jump is you go to the side and come back. Then you have a twist. So like you're changing direction from left to right, you're pivoting your whole hip to the left and the right. The next one is the squat jump. So you're squatting down into about a quarter squat and then jumping up and skipping up two feet. Then you have the single leg jump, just jumping on one leg, and you can alternate onto the right, jumping up on one leg. And then lastly, you have the double jump. <laughs> so as a warm up, you can include them all together, mix and match. Great for coordination and staying on the balls of your feet. This drill, we're going to have some handball included. So we're going to have a wall, this ball, and we're actually going to play rally with ourselves, but we're only going to use one leg. All right. <laughs> Thanks, so I need it. Um, so we're going to hit the ball off the wall while only standing on one leg and try and maintain a rally. Um, so we want to use both hands. You can. It just it forces you to try and push your leg into a position as quick as you can. And if you want to make things harder, you can only use one hand or even hit the ball a bit harder. 
and so on. So obviously you switch legs and then, you know, you want to incorporate more. You can play with the smaller ball, whatever you're playing with, the dark blue or the men's senior ball, whichever. So that makes it a bit harder. And I said, you know, try both legs, see which is stronger. And so on. So if I'm right-handed, I find my right foot a lot more able to move in different directions, whereas I find my left is stronger, but it doesn't move as well in different directions. So that's a drill that forced you to move off both legs, especially if you're hitting with your left side, force your left leg as a mover. That's really beneficial for speed, agility, and just coordination as well. That's it. Thank you. That's it. I uh, hope you learned something. Hope you can take something home. As you can see, the drills I use mimic the way I need to move in a handball game. I'm really looking forward to the rest of the expo and the events and activities they're sharing. As for the challenge, um, Dara will have more information on that, and I hope to see you all soon in the handball court.